Thank you, lovely calendar girls. Now, from sunflowers to tulips, Daisy Payne is celebrating the arrival of the spring in the most colourful way. Yes, Dave, Daisy is live from the blooming fields of Tully's Farm, surrounded by a carpet of colour. Isn't that beautiful? Nice, Daisy. Morning, Daisy. You look gorgeous. Good morning. You might think I'm in Holland. I'm not. I'm in West Sussex, would you believe? There's something strange in the sky as well. I've not seen it for a while. It's the sun, people. It's coming out. It's here all weekend. Yes. Uh, but I'm here surrounded by thousands of tulips. Doesn't it look amazing? The man behind it all is here. It's Stuart Beer. You own the farm here at Tully's. Tell me about these tulips. <laughs> well, they are just spectacular, aren't they? They're amazing. We planted them back in November, and that was a huge challenge to try and get them in the ground. The, the, we've had one of the wettest winters on record which is exactly what our Dutch friends <laughs> that helped us put this together told us that they didn't need. So uh, it has been real challenging. So there have been some trials and tribulations, Lots. Stuart. Tell me about how you've approached this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we started planning it about a year ago. Yeah. Um, they went in in November, as I said, but what we didn't realise was that they soon became the biggest buffet for the wildlife. Even <laughs> though like they're that. under the ground, everything wanted to try and eat them. The main thing was badgers, so we had to put stockade fences and electric fences just to try and keep these uh, lovely creatures out. Well, you've done an amazing job Thank because you. it is looking stunning. How many tulips have you got here planted this year? We've planted just over half a million. There's half a million on the field, and then we've got some planted in pots as well. The big question is, I mean, there's so many people enjoying today and the sunshine and the tulips what are your plans for next year are you going to do it again because Tully's of course famous for its sunflowers and and pumpkins and all that are you going to go for tulips again next year we are we've had so much fun with it the team the team love it and it fits perfectly with our sort of seasonality so we are and we're going to plant 1.2 million bulbs next year so we're more than more than doubling the area for people to come and have a look uh, at. amazing well thank you so much for having us Stuart there are so many people loving the tulips uh, here at Tully's this morning and tulips of course are really reasonable to buy from the shops you can pick them up for about two quid at the supermarket so what I have got for you this morning is Daisy's two minute tulip tutorial Daisy's two minute tulip tutorial that's right so first thing you need to do when you get your tulips home and they're wrapped up in your brown paper keep them wrapped up just for a couple of hours just to keep them just acclimatizes them to your home it's a bit like when you get back from the shops and you keep your jacket on for a little bit just helps you warm up get a little bit warm so that's my first tip for you my next tip for you is you've got your tulips get rid of all these little leaves around the stem and just remove them quite gently. Then you want to chop your stems at what angle? 45 degrees! That is a 45 degree angle, just like that. And that gives the surface area of the tulip much bigger so that it can absorb all of the water you need fresh water and what does it need to be nice and cold nice and cold just so that it's nice and fresh okay if your tulips start to droop in any way grab yourself a needle and just place a hole through the stem like that what that does is it helps get rid of air bubbles as they find their way up the stem uh, it's a bit like when you do this it just helps release the air for the tulips now the old wives tale what do you drop in the vase copper coin! absolutely you drop that copper coin in and that is that has got antibacterial properties so it's really good to keep the tulips fresh okay another top tip for you is whack some sugar in because that will feed the plant with the juice of what fruit Lemon juice. lemon juice that's right that's got antibacterial properties as well and finally what's good for a tulip on a friday morning and even better for a daisy on a saturday night on the town vodka vodka people vodka pop it in it's a little bit like a uh, an anti-aging cream for tulips it keeps the ethylene at bay and therefore your tulips will look be looking stunning for longer the sun is on my face people there's your two minute tulip tutorial this morning from tully's <laughs>
This is so wonderful, so Daisy. We've Thanks, got our Daisy. tulips here. We've got our cigars. What angle do we cut this, guys? 45 degrees. 45 degrees. Let's give that a little cut. Thank you so much, Daisy. That was so good. That was so good. Uh, anyway, listen, when we come back, why is gut?